Hello geometry students, Mr. Zazik back and better than ever we are in lesson two. We're going to look at perimeter and area of odd shaped figures. A lot of this is review so I am going to uh, move pretty quickly. All right so question six, what is the circumference in centimeters of the circle in terms of pi? So uh, cherry is delicious pie. That's the formula for circumference. And so what we're going to do here is uh, I always like in these circle questions to begin by find the radius and the diameter. The diameter is twice the radius. Okay. So uh, cherry is delicious pie. That means the diameter times pi. So the circumference in terms of pi is 8 pi. And to the nearest tenth, well, we're just going to take that and uh, in our calculator, we'll go ahead and 8 and um, times pi and 25.1 would be what that value is to the nearest tenth of a centimeter. So the perimeter of a circle we call the circumference. All right, what is the area in square meters of the circle? So area, apple pies are two. If cherry is delicious pie, apple pies are two. That's a little device for remembering that. So in this circle, we start off, we're given the diameter is 16. That means the radius is eight. All right, so in terms of square meters, so the area equals pi times eight squared. So if we're gonna put this in terms of pi, then what we're going to do is just square the eight and we would say that's 64 pi um, meters squared. That would be in terms of pi. Or if we're going to uh, round that to the nearest tenth, then we're simply going to multiply 64 times pi. So 64 times pi is 201.1. So 201.1. Meters squared. All right, so pretty simple. Um, now, what is the perimeter of the figure in centimeters? So, as we're looking at this, we see the tick marks that we have here, and that means congruent. So, this would be three, 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 and then the two tick marks would be nine. And so, the perimeter, you always want to write your formula and then substitute. So perimeter would be the sum of all sides. And so therefore the perimeter would be um, 9 plus 9 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus how many threes do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, so um, that's going to be... Um, 36, I believe. All right, so 36 centimeters. Perimeter is just the sum of the sides. Now, in terms of area, we have some different ways that we can kind of go about this. Um, but essentially, what you want to do is break it up into um, different rectangles. So one of the ways to do that would if we could break it up into like these three different rectangles. So in this rectangle, the area would be 3 times 9, this is base times height. Well, this would have, this rectangle would be uh, 3 times 6, because this um, bottom length would be 6, and then this would be 3 times 3. Okay, so the area would be um, 3 times 9, plus 3 times 6, plus three times three. And so three times nine is 27 plus 18 plus nine. Uh, so the area would be uh, 54 centimeters squared. All right, so just breaking it up into rectangles. Um, and again, the area of a rectangle is length times width or base times height. All right, now um, find the perimeter here of EFG. So the perimeter of triangle EFG is going to equal um, EF plus 
uh, FG plus GE. So some of these are vertical lines and horizontal lines. So for EF, we can just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that'll have a distance of 8. And FG will have a distance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. And then for the other one, um, we're going to have to do the distance formula. So I'm going to do that separately down here. I'll just do it in a different color just to kind of separate this out for us. So uh, G is negative 3, negative 2. Uh, e is 3, 6. We'll call that our x1, y1, x2, y2. Uh, and so we have the uh, GE distance, which is going to be the square root of x2 minus x1, quantity squared, plus y2 minus y1, quantity squared. Take the square root. So when you're putting that second negative, you want to put it in its own set of parentheses. So this is really going to become 6 squared, which is 36, and 8 squared, which is 64. Okay, so GE is going to be the square root of 100, so GE is going to be 10. So if we go back to our perimeter then, it's going to be EF, which is 8 plus 6 plus 10. 8 plus 6 plus 10 would be 24 um, units. If we want to find the area of this, since this forms a right angle, we can use our, um, so the area of triangle EFG would be one half uh, the base times the height. And again, the key with the base and the height is that those two have to be perpendicular to each other. So again, we got that right triangle, which makes this a little bit easier. So six times eight. Uh, 6 times 8 is 48. Half of 48 is 24. This is just a kind of a random um, coincidence that that is the area and the perimeter are the same. That is certainly not something we would expect to see um, at different times. Okay, graph the quadrilateral. Um, so we got the quadrilateral negative 3, negative 3. Okay, there's J, K is 1, negative 3, uh, L is 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, and M is negative 3, 1, okay, so there's M, so use our straight edge, and here is our, um, our triangle, or not, excuse me, that's a trapezoid. Okay, so again, Perimeter, what's our formula going to be here for this? So the perimeter of JK LM is going to equal LK plus KJ plus JM plus ML. And again, this is kind of the same idea if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and then we need to do the distance formula for ML. Okay, so M, which is negative 3, 1, and L, which is 1, 4. There's our x1, y1, x2, y2. So ML is going to be the square root of 1 minus negative 3, quantity squared, x2 minus x1, quantity squared, plus 4 minus 1 quantity squared. So we have um, 4 squared, which is 16, plus 3 squared, which is 9. So ML is the square root of 25. So ML is going to be 5. So this distance up here would be 5. So for our perimeter, it's going to be 7 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5, okay, which is going to be... Um, 8, 15, 20. So the perimeter of JKLM. All right, now uh, find the area of JKLM. I'm just going to remind you back to our, I'm going to pull us back to our very first um, page here of our notes packet that for a trapezoid, the area is one half the height times base one plus base two. 
let's bring that back here. This shape that we have is the trapezoid. So here's, here's the idea, okay? This is the base, base. Now we can find the height by drawing a perpendicular line here. And we can count that because it's a horizontal line. So we could just say one, two, three, four. So that height would have um, that distance. So let's go ahead and just kind of write that out. Um, so the area, again, is one-half the height times base one plus base two. So that's going to be one-half the height, which is four, times the sum of the bases, which would be uh, four plus seven. So half of four is two times 11. So the area of this would be 22 square units. All right, so trapezoid. All right, um, perimeter of ABC, area of ABC. Uh, I'm not going to do this one. I think, you know, you, you kind of get the point. What we would do just for the area, here's how you could do the area. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there's our height, there's our base. So I will do the area. Area triangle, ABC, one half base times height. So the area of triangle ABC is one half um, six times six. And so the area triangle ABC would be um, 18. So again, with perimeter we've done, it's just a distance formula question and add those together. All right, here's where we get a little bit um, different. And the diagram right triangle ABC is inscribed in circle. BA is a diameter, BC is six centimeters, eight centimeters. Find the area of the shaded region to the nearest tenth. Okay, so here's how you can think about this question. The shaded region is the area of the circle minus the area of uh, triangle ABC. Right? So if we took the whole circle and we just subtracted that triangle, we would be all set. So how are we going to find that? So, well, that's going to equal the area of the circle, there's pi r squared, minus one-half base times height, right? area of the triangle. So in order to do this, we need to find the diameter. Well, this is a right triangle. So we could do the Pythagorean theorem. 6 squared plus 8 squared equals AB squared. So that's going to be 36 plus 64 equals AB squared. 100 equals AB squared. And we take the square root, which is 10, which is AB. Okay, That means our radius is 5. Some of you might have recognized that's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So this would be pi times 5 squared, and then 1 half. In a right triangle, the legs are the base and the height, so 6 and 8. Again, they just need to be in uh, that order. So this would be 25 pi minus, whoops, not equals, minus, um, minus 24. So we just put that in our calculator, all right? 25, boom, pi, minus 24, and 54.5. I think it said to the nearest tenth. Yeah. So the area of the shaded region, 54.5 square centimeters. All right. Uh, number 13. Same kind of idea here. You got this. What do we need to do? Well, we just need to break it apart. You got a triangle. You got a trapezoid. You have half of a circle. And so you just have to go through and take each one of those as it is there. All right. Um, you know, I don't want to take any more time. And I think, you know, all this stuff is kind of review type things. So um, I do want to go ahead and do um, this equilateral triangle. Okay, um, because these are a little bit different. So find the equilateral area of equilateral triangle. We know that it's 60, 
we know that the formula for the area of a triangle is one-half base times height. How are we going to do that? Well, the height has to be perpendicular, right? What have we just formed? A 30, 60, 90 triangle. This is one of our special cases. The side lengths are 10. Well, what's half of 10? 5. So this is a bisector. So in our 30, 60, 90, what's the relationship? When it's 30, it's A, 90, 2A, 60, what's that? A radical 3. So this length up here would be 5 times the square root of 3. And then again, our whole base is 10. So the area of the triangle here would be 1 half 10 times 5 times the square root of 3. Okay, and so if we just put that in our calculator, it would be 5 times 5, 5 times 5 times uh, the square root of 3, which is 43.3. Okay, so the area of the triangle would be 43.3. So we're using special right triangles. Hey, that thing showed up again. All right. And here's another uh, case where that special triangle is going to show up. And uh, same idea. It's a rectangle. Okay, find the perimeter. Well, this is a 30. When it's 30, it's A. 90, 2A. Okay, 60, what's that? It's A radical 3. So A radical 3. So when you have these 30, 60, 90s, you always start off by finding A. So 2A is 14. That means A would be 7. Okay, so that means this side is 7 and this side is 7. And that means that the other side is 7 times the square root of 3. 7 times the square root of 3. So the perimeter of DEFG equals the sum of all sides. Okay, so the perimeter of DEFG would be 7 plus 7 plus 7 times the square root of 3 plus 7 times square root of 3. Again, you can only combine the like terms. So it's 14 plus 14 square root of 3. So here we see these little special right triangles. We saw one of those shaded region ones. So we just got a little bit of variety here. Keep us thinking, using these, these tools that we have, and make sure we're separating perimeter from area. All right, see you back here soon. Good luck.